it's hot. How you doing today, babe? I hmm? would be better. I got some socks for sale if you need some. I'm fine, thank you. It's too hot for socks. Um, I got some Tide laundry detergent if you need some too. Nope, I'm good. You look a little dirty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. I had a long day. Every day I see men harassing women, calling them out of their names. Then when you say no, you get chewed out and disrespected. At the market, the corner store, the bus, the train, and on the street, it doesn't matter where we are. To these men, anywhere, any time is a good moment to see how far they can get by pestering us. They make women scared to speak up because of fear of being assaulted. Maybe I should just mind my business and not get involved. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll do this. Please don't talk to me. Dude, I get it. You know, you're trying real hard. You're trying to, you know, sell and make that money. But she annoyed. You got to stop. Thank you, sis. You heard what she said, right? So, you got an email? Some guys, even disrespect each other, believe it or not, it does happen, and I've seen it. There's no way to stop it or prevent it because if you intervene in it, you know what's going to happen next. Whenever in a confrontation, once you end up in a confrontation, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know. I guess people got to have more respect in the community. Keep your hands to yourself. That's all I can say. You don't have to, just because somebody wears a short skirt, you don't have to grab them. According to a 2014 Gallup poll of U.S. citizens, women were more likely than men to not feel safe walking out at night. 45% for women versus 27%. In a survey by Stop Street Harassment, 50% of harassed women and men experienced street harassment by age 17. 65% of women reported experiencing some form of street harassment in their lifetime, including verbal, inappropriate touching, being flashed, and or being forced to do something sexual. <laughs>